Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if I look weird. I've discovered that I now have hay fever. I don't know where this has come from. I've never had it, but apparently you can just get it. And all morning, I've probably sneezed at least, I don't know, like 20, 30, 50, 100 times. And when you sneeze loads, I'm obviously closing my eyes, but I feel like my eyes have gone so puffy and I'm like, oh my God, I can't see. So I'm sorry if I sound any different. I don't know if I do, but I'm just literally like, oh my god, my eyes, these lights aren't helping at all because I'm like, oh my god, I just want to close them and go to sleep. But I did want to just film this video for you guys. So yeah, and I'm really, really excited to film it anyway. So obviously in today's video, I'm going to be doing a H&M full face makeup tutorial. I haven't really seen many of these, so I wanted to film one just to test it all out. I'm not going to lie. I did buy full face, quite a lot of makeup, and it came to £76. So it was, it's not the cheapest makeup, it's definitely not as cheap as Primark makeup, but I'm really intrigued to try it, and there might be some products that you guys might like. I've got all the prices on the receipt, and also I think they're on the products, I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm just going to go through everything that I use, and yeah, I'm really excited to see the quality and all of that good stuff. So if you want to see my H&M makeup haul, then please keep watching. So, I've moisturised my face because I've done that in my Primark one and I do it in every single video every time I do my makeup because that's what I do I'm gonna empty out all the makeup that I've got on the table first of all I really really like the packaging of it it's really simple it's sort of like this cream and black packaging with the really nice embossed or is that debossed sort of thing um writing but it's sort of pushed in a little bit so I thought it's really nice it's not the cheapest like this powder was 7 99 so it's sort of drugstore prices it's not like really expensive but it is drugstore prices so I'm gonna sort of test the quality and see if it sort of lives up to that or if it's better or anything like that some stuff was on sale like I got this angled buffer brush for one pound so I'm excited to use that for my foundation so yeah I hope I have enough makeup for everything I got this the same day I got my uh, Primark makeup haul if you not haul makeup tutorial if you haven't seen my full face Primark makeup then you need to watch it like you need to it's so good not well the, the video, I hope the video is good but the makeup's insane so I will link that below if you want to watch that already right what do we do first brows so apparently I didn't pick up an eyebrow pencil which is very confusing right I'm just gonna use this Anastasia dip brow no it's not dip brow it's dark brown eyebrow duo um do my brows and then I'll be back because I don't know where I put the I literally picked it up I'm so confused what I don't know. Right, I'm gonna do my brows and I'll be back. So my brows are done, not looking the best, but you know. Um, I did use the H&M Custom Concealer Trio, which looks like this, just to carve up the shape of my brows. Um, I found it, it wasn't, it's not the fullest coverage concealer, but I feel like it's quite buildable, but I don't know properly yet until I do under my eyes, so we'll have to wait till then to find out. Moving on to foundation, I'm going to use the All Day Liquid Foundation in the shade Warm Ivory. This was £8.99, so like normal drugstore prices. Um... The bottle looks like this. I really, really like how nice and sleek the packaging is. It's not anything too in your face, but it's really, really nice. Um, it might be a bit too pinky, but we'll just see. It does seem really runny, so I don't know what the coverage is going to be like. But let's find out. Oh my god, it's really running on my hand, which makes me feel like it's going to be a little bit lightweight. I'm going to use the angle uh, buffer brush, which looks like this, and just dot around the foundation. It is lightweight already, you can really tell. So I think I'm gonna have to build this up a lot. Yeah, it's a bit light, like a little bit too light for me. Like look at the difference between my forehead. Hmm. I think we're gonna, it's a beauty blood, blue, blue beauty uh, blender jobby. Cause it's not blending in nicely with this brush, but it's so lightweight, really lightweight. And the color's way too light for me. It just feels a bit watery um but like, i've got a little red dot here from i don't know what it's from i feel like it's going to be a spot and it hasn't really covered that up that well you can still see my red undertones like on my cheeks normally i want them to go you can still see all my like redness here you can see my moles which isn't bad but for me i want like a medium to full coverage mainly medium so 
For £8.99, I don't think the foundation is worth it. It looks cool in the bottle, and I like how this bit goes up when you use it, so it's not like you're wasting any product. Do I think it's worth it? No, I don't. It might be nice for summer, but if I got the right colour and everything, then maybe. I'm going to move on to the concealers. I'm going to use the light shade here. This is the medium to dark trio. Ah, dropping it everywhere. I don't know if I got a contour stick. If I didn't, I'm going to use this to contour with as well, because it's a bit lighter. I'm literally scooping it out and putting it on the end of my brush so I can get product, because it's really hard to get it out properly. That's quite thick now. I've taken loads out. Gonna use a beauty blender just to blend all of this in. So when you put loads on, like I literally, I don't know if you can see, but I've scraped loads of it from the end of my brush. And you do need a lot, but you can see it's actually a really nice concealer. But if you're gonna use that much every time, then your concealer's gonna go after about five to 10 times you use it. So I'm not sure, but it has covered up my dark circles and the redness, so it's good. But you need a lot of it to make sure it works. So you're probably better off getting another one. I'm gonna contour really lightly with the darker shade in this contour trio kit. This is probably like the right color for me for my foundation, but I'm just gonna do it lightly. I'm just gonna use this brush. I actually got it from Primark, but it's really nice to blend in cream contour. Just to blend this in, because I look so pale. I feel like this is definitely too light, even the bronzer, but I'm still just gonna bronze up my skin. Which is the main thing, because I'm so pale from this foundation, it's a joke. So instead of just blending it down, I'm sort of gonna blend it up a bit lightly and down. Normally I just blend down with my jawline, but I want the foundation colour to sort of be right. To set everything in place, I'm going to use the High Definition Invisible Powder. I think, yeah, this is in translucent. This was $7.99. Literally just looks like this. It reminds me of the Laura Mercier one. I haven't tried it yet, so I don't know what it's going to be like, but... I didn't really want to get a coloured one. I personally don't like coloured ones because I always change colour depending on if I'm tanned or not. And I think using a translucent powder is the best bet because... You don't have to get a new one until you run out, basically. And you can always use it whenever. So the powder looks like this, really white. I'm going to use a brush to sort of put under my eye with. I'm going to look up to get rid of the creases. And then I'm just going to pop the powder underneath my eyes, pushing it into my skin. I've so used a wrong brush for that. That is the worst powder I've ever used. And it smells really weird. But it's like made the colour of my concealer really weird. Like it's not brightening anymore. But the smell of it is disgusting. I can't even describe it. Like I really don't like it. It just smells like baking powder. So my mum just came around and she said to me that she thinks the powder is off. Because I was like smell this. This does not smell right. Like it doesn't smell. It just, it just it smells horrible. And she was like I think that powder's off. That's lovely, I'm putting a oh, gone off powder on my face. But I've looked and it doesn't have a date on it from when it expires, so I don't know. But it really, really smelled gross. So I don't know what deal is with that, but you know, not really the biggest fan ever. So, so far I haven't had the best luck with my makeup. I feel like it doesn't, I don't know. It's lightweight, that's a good thing about it, but it's not, I'm not like impressed with anything. Completely. The powder's just the worst thing ever. Don't buy it. Me in my head, I was like, try to do some powder. Really good idea. Really not. I'm going to use this bronzer and blush and highlighter and eye colour palette, which looks like this. Again, I really like this simple packaging. H&M's really, really tiny. Oh, I thought these were names, but it says eye colour, eye colour, eye colour, eye colour, highlighter, blusher, bronzer, eye colour. <laughs> so I'm going to use the bronzer, which is here, and bronze up my face. Hopefully this won't go too bad, but you know, probably will because everything else on this makeup look has not gone well. But this palette does look really beautiful. I really, really like it. And the highlighter looks insane, the colour. Um, it's a bit ready, the bronzer. So kind of my fault for picking the wrong one, but let's just see. I've definitely used better, but it's not like bad, bad. So I'm going to move on to eyes now. I'm going to go in with the first shade here and just pop this on my lid. Move on to this shade here for my transition. A bit silvery. I'm not really into silver for my eyelid. It doesn't go very nicely, but it's sort of a bit warm. 
so let's build it up also that same color on my lower lash line so gonna use this color here which is the purple I'm gonna pop this like on my lid the like outer V lid area I'm gonna pop this color on my inner corners and bra bone bit silvery for my liking but you know we'll work with it mm, and I'm gonna use the highlighter shade and put that on top of my inner corner and brow bone oh it's a bit pinky I just feel like I've been punched in the eye like it literally looks like I've been punched in the face what I'm gonna do is get the blusher with this brush pop it on my brush and just go over the top and make this eyeshadow a bit pinky because I feel like we're just not working with what we've got. Like, it's just not really happening. Again, I still look like I've been punched in the face, but it's fine. Pop that pink as well on the lower lash line. There is a lot of fallout, but... What I'm going to do is go back in with this purple colour here. And pop this on my lid. Dab it on. Once I put like all my lashes on and eyeliner, it's going to look a lot better. But for now it looks awful fine we'll get there in the end right i bought i picked this up which was 12.99 it's i want it all liquid eyeliner marker and lashes so i'm going to apply all of these onto my eyes i'm just going to line my lash line or should i do a wing maybe i'll do a wing liner might make it look a bit better maybe probably won't but we'll see i think the individual eyeshadows from h m are good I haven't got one in this tutorial, but I've used them before, and every time I swatch them, they look really good. So I should have got some for the video, because I don't think this is doing the makeup any justice. But I think them um, eyeshadows alone are really good. It's definitely not the blackest eyeliner I've used, but I think it's buildable. Moving on to mascara, I'm going to use this one, which is a High Mighty Mascara. It was $8.99. For that price, surely this has got to be good. Surely. Because everything else I don't love. Like, I really don't. There's not anything that's standing out for me at the moment. So we'll see. This literally feels like I'm putting an old mascara on. Uh, it's lengthening my lashes, but I've got naturally long lashes. So sometimes I'm like, mm, does it actually work or is it my lashes? Like it is lengthening them. Don't get me wrong, but the actual mascara feels old. And I don't want it to sound like I'm criticizing all of the makeup because I just want to be honest with you guys. And for the prices that each of the products are, I don't know if it's worth it. I think you're better off going into Primark and getting a full face for like less than half the price so it has lengthened them but it's like old i don't know it's hard to explain it just feels a bit fuzzy like it's not watery like brand new mascaras always are so it just feels really old it's been sitting in my jaw for a while <laughs> right i'm gonna apply these lashes now they are sticky so i'm not gonna apply any glue for a natural look these lashes are quite nice like they remind me of the ardell wispies but like they're sort of gradual if you can see so they are quite nice oh jumped it on the floor i'm gonna apply some mascara over the top just to blend in my lashes with these lashes yeah that, they're not bad i personally because i'm quite dramatic with my lashes these feel a bit like dramatic, but not. So I don't know. I don't know what I feel about the lashes yet. Like I wouldn't, there's sort of things that I'm like, oh, they're quite nice to apply. They're really thin band, all of that good stuff. But I wouldn't pick them out again. Personally for me, but it, everyone has their own personal preference with lashes, I think. Or well, anything, but you know. I'm going to use this blusher now just to, oh God, this is actually really pigmented, but it blends out really nicely. Blush. I really like the blush. So I would use the blush again. The colour's really pretty. So yeah, I like the blusher. For highlighter, I'm going to use... Where's my highlighting brush? This is the Sigma Power... Uh, it's the Powder Sweep FO6 brush. But it's really good for highlighter because you've got a lot of precision on where you want it to go. So I'm going to just pop it around here. Um, I do really like this highlighter, but it is a bit pinky. And look, if I do this, the highlighter is like gone. Like it just doesn't really stay. Look, gone. Hello. And then I'll wipe it and it's like gone. I suppose if you want more of a natural glow. 
but it like goes i don't know what the deal is right i picked up this lip liner which was 3.99 it's in the shade pecan um paraline i'm gonna learn my lips I really like this. I really like the colour of it. This is definitely something I'd use again. More nudey version of my cappuccino. And the consistency is really nice. The um, Primark lip liners were awful, whereas this one I really like. I'm gonna use this Vivid Lip Lacure. Lacure. I don't know if it's a lip lipstick or a lip gloss, but that's going over the top. Ooh, it smells quite strong. Like, it smells a bit of, I don't know. Oh my God, I love that lip combo so much. So guys, this is the final makeup look. Really, I'm not sure about it. I just don't know. Like, I wouldn't advise you guys to get it. The things that I did like and did stand out were lip liner and the lipstick or lip gloss. I love these. I'm literally gonna put these in my makeup bag because I like them that much. Everything else, I'm not really a fan of. The foundation was too watery in my opinion. It really, really lightweight, but it just, even though it was lightweight, it was really hard to build into your skin. And um, the concealer was good once you'd done, once you used a lot of it, but you're gonna be wasting product and money because you're gonna have to buy loads, so. Didn't really make sense for that. Um, nothing really stood out for me apart from the two lip combos. The mascara just felt a bit old. Like, do you know when you pick out an old mascara and even though it's got loads of product in, it just is a bit like, it's not watery, it's a bit fuzzy, if that makes any sense. So I didn't really like the mascara. The eyeliner was so, it's not really black, it's more gray. And the lashes were nice for lightweight use, but I wouldn't use them again personally so yeah that's sort of my overall list on it or the price of the products i do not think it is worth it um unless you if you like lightweight then this is your go-to but this is like light lightweight where it doesn't really go into your skin that well um but yeah i just feel like the prices are so expensive for what it is like you may as well just go to the drugstore go to l'oreal go to rimmel go to all of those and buy things which you know are good for the same price so i don't know but apparently the single eyeshadows from h&m are good so maybe i'll try them um but i don't know we'll see but yeah i'm not the biggest fan but i love the lip combo and that is it um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you've enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and subscribe you know the drill also hit that bell button next to the subscribe button and that'll keep you notified on when i upload every youtube video that i do so make sure you hit that because that's really really important so yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope it's been informative and i hope it's given you more of an insight on what h&m makeup is like i will list down below my video from when i done a full face of primark makeup on monday which i'm not gonna lie i prefer so much more like you're gonna spend less than half of the money and get a better result from Primark makeup, Primark. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.